What's up everybody, it's Crowbar, and today Crowbar is ready to play Broken Age. Uh, now this is going to be a bit of an odd episode. Um, I'm going to be doing something a little different than I've done before. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to end up doing this very often, but I'm calling this video like a, a plat pop or a platinum plop or... Platinum plop? That's not good. That doesn't sound good at all. Um, but basically, um, I recently um, managed to find the time to work my way through Broken Age. Um, and I'd already kind of started the game about halfway through um, before I started recording stuff. And it felt a little weird to go back and start it all over for Let's Play stuff. And I also just didn't want to pick up right at the very beginning either. So I just let myself play it and enjoy it. It is a stellar game, by the way. If you have not played it, it's not that expensive. Um, I think it's on Steam and I know it's on the PSN. It's probably available on Xbox as well. Um, it's a, it, it is double fine at its greatest, I think. Um, you know, it's still got some problems, but they're kind of problems inherent to the genre, less the game. Um, it has some stellar voice work from lots of people, um, but you're not going to hear any of that in this video. So, uh, the last trophy I need to, pa uh, pa blah, 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 let's try that with words. The last trophy I need to pop the platinum, that's kind of a bit of a tum tongue twister, or maybe my mouth just doesn't work today because I just failed to say the word tongue. Um, the last one I need to pop this platinum is let's get this good time over with, um, which is completing the game in under an hour, uh, not counting any loading time or paused time. Um, and I've played through the game, I think, two or three times now. Um, the first time just to genuinely enjoy it, and then I cleaned up some trophies on the subsequent playthroughs um and so yeah that's the only thing i've got left so i should get it and the plat at the same time um and i've made myself a little checklist of uh, what i think is the fastest way to get through everything got it on my phone which you might hear me clicking around with a little bit and i also have myself a little pad of paper and a pencil with some stuff pre-written out uh, I've got like a couple diagrams and a few little codes that stay consistent throughout the game, regardless of how many times you play through it, uh, just so I have the data at my fingertips, because like every good adventure game, there are a few puzzles that require some notes. Um, and uh, yeah, so in any case, um, I don't know exactly how enjoyable this is going to be, because uh, to get the time, to get in under time, I'm going to have to skip every cutscene not do anything extra, and I'm going to be skipping most of the dialogue. Any dialogue you hear is going to be stuff that I'm not actually capable of skipping. Um, so I guess you could kind of view this as a guide. If you yourself have not yet tripped, um, you know, uh, let's get this good time over with, um, maybe you can use it. Um, or, you know, again, hopefully it'll at least be somewhat enjoyable. It is a beautifully, beautifully animated game. Um, the, the art assets for this thing are just stellar. Um, like I said, it's got some great voice work in it. Um, it, it's got, it had like, for me, like surprise Jack Black, uh, Jack Black and, uh, Will Wheaton in it, which was just, uh, awesome to see. Uh, cause I, I again, I, the only pe person I know for certain who was going to be in it was Elijah Wood and he's great all the way through it as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely uh, suggest you check it out if you uh, have any interest in adventure games whatsoever. Um, so yeah, like I said, it, it is not going to count against me when I'm paused. Um, so there will be a few, probably more than a few moments of me pausing the game, uh, you know, to read the next few steps on my checklist. Or uh, there will also be a couple instances, I'm sure, where I need to reload a save uh, so I can like you know, make a save, get some information for this particular playthrough, and then jump back so I don't waste that time, uh, especially on the wire puzzle, which is going to come in Act 2, um, which is just a bit tedious at the best of times. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not going to be going for any of the extra stuff, uh, but, you know, if you find yourself at all interested in this game, I would suggest maybe, you know, searching around doing a, a look for a genuine playthrough for it. Uh, I know Cry did one, and I think uh, Stampy did one too. Uh, I, I got off the little short list when I searched for him. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to just jump right in, and we're just going to hit the ground running and go. Uh, thankfully, I know the beginning pretty well. Uh, so we're going to overwrite this save, and we're going to use that second slot 
for whenever I need to make any manual saves. And I don't know if this opening cutscene is actually skippable. Howdy, good timing. I just got started. Are you already recording? Yes. But you won't be coming in while I'm actively doing something. Okay, so we're going to go with Vela, and we're just going to go. And one thing uh, for anybody wanting to do this themselves, um, spamming X and circle, or cross and circle, whatever the hell you want to call it, whatever your... Oh, no, shit. Uh, your skip dialogue button and move faster button uh, alternately is a really good way to get you through a lot of these transitions quickly. Uh, and you also want to... Um, whenever you're changing screens, you're going to want to uh, hit that double arrow and it will just skip the animation entirely. Um, so we, we've already done so far is gotten into Vela's house, grabbed a tea rag and a cupcake, and we're making him split it with us so we can get his knife. And I'm going to come over here and give the knife to her mom. I turned my cursor speed up and it's messing with me. I might have to right, pause and undo that. All right, so we're going to skip that. Yeah, I, I just skipped probably about five to ten minutes of really good dialogue. So, again, just, like, if it even looks pretty to you, you know, maybe, you know, give the game a look. Give it a genuine try. It's a good game. Go through it at least once. And yeah. The story is good. It's beautiful. The only reason I'm doing it like this is because I really want this trophy. Uh, I need a drink. I need another drink, and then I need to give her the water bottle. Okay. Thank you. I give her the towel, and then we're gonna use the corset, which you didn't even see me take off on this bird. And then we're gonna cut ourselves out of this dress. Yeah, like I literally got stumped on that puzzle for ages because I didn't know you had to talk to all the girls. Uh, okay, and we are we are already in the second chunk of Vela's first act. Um, so we need to go down here and talk to this lovely depressed lady and get ourselves some shoes. Move faster, please. Come on, Shay okay. runs through this place. Uh, I like your outfit. You Say something about shoes. No, Belle is actually barefoot at the moment. Well. Okay, now we're going to put these shoes on to make getting around Cloud Town a bit easier. Awesome, thank you for the water bottle. Uh, okay, so we're, uh, we're gonna ignore you guys. We're just gonna go ahead and go over here and get this ladder. Bought one. Oh, I, I, I actually I, almost bought one myself. So I was concerned, uh, and then I was like, but then how do you reach the high ones? ones? Oh, Can okay. I borrow your ladder? Well, now we're done. Uh, we're gonna use the ladder on this right here. See, so, unfortunately, some of these animations you can't actually skip. There we go. Grab that knife. I'm actually going to go into my controls real fast and drop that cursor sensitivity down some. Come on, let me, there we go. It's just too fast, I'm missing my target. There we go. Come on, down the ladder. Faster, please. <laughs> let me just, hey, let me just immediately put it up, but it wouldn't let me take it down without sk uh, by skipping that cutscene. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna talk to Carol. Or curl at the moment. Curl, she's yeah, she's curl at the moment because she's in part. Of the, she's still in the club. She's gonna drop her knife. We're gonna exit that conversation and just um, give her. Yes. Nope, no, no, no. Because of the knife, she gave us some cloud shoes, which we're gonna put on our ladder. And then we're gonna go down here again. We go down to this background area, and we're gonna pop that ladder up there. Grab this egg, and then get right back down again, and keep on moving. Let me make sure. Yeah, we got the egg. Beautiful. I think I've uh, been at this for like a minute or so so far, and we're already already flying through, which is great. Uh, I know the second act is going to take way more time than the first, um, so we're going to come up here. We're going to use this ladder. Now we're gonna go past this angry bird, whose name is Jessie. Man. Uh, she's actually the one who saved us from the beginning, but you didn't even know I needed saving, because I skipped that entire conflict. Um, and we're gonna hit this tree over here so it drops some fruit. Dang. And then we're gonna fall down. Oh, no, 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 damn it. Ah, I wasted some time there. That's all right, we're gonna go back up. 
skip the cutscene. There we go. We're gonna we need to fall down this hole actually. And we're gonna skip that scene. What you didn't see me do right there is fall off the tree entirely and get rescued by a, a bird whose job it literally is to f catch people who fall off the clouds. Uh, we got that fruit. Gonna come over here. Pass where that fat guy was hanging a second ago. Grab this egg. Come on, keep on moving. And up we go. Skip that. I uh, don't want to fall down the hole anymore. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I might pause the game right there and just point him out. Give her that. Take the gold one. Going down. Come on, keep it going. Take that ladder for later. Okay, now we're going to go over this third part of... Uh, I think this place is called Mariloft. I always just end up calling it the cloud place. Uh, okay. Yeah, put that egg right there. Climbing on up. This is Jack Black. Um, being a... Let's see, I just need to talk to him a bunch. I want that golden egg. I want to leave. Come on. Okay. There. No, no, no. Oh, shit. I climbed back up again. I want my money back. You may take back All right. We're going to grab this golden egg. Wasted a little bit of time there, but it's all right. The, just, like, climbing that ladder is a genuine, like, joke. It's awesome. Uh, but, again, unfortunately, you didn't get to see it. Uh, we just fell out of the sky on that giant ladder, and we crashed into Curtis's house. Curtis is a... Uh, Scared little lumberjack man, and that is Will Wheaton, and he's great. He's quite possibly my favorite character in the entire game. It's hilarious. He's somehow like a outdoorsman hipster. It's awesome. Uh, we need to skip all of this dialogue. Uh, woodworker, make me something. Uh, about this art. Um... What is it? Uh, how do you know it's right side up? And decor. And now he'll let me take it. Because he doesn't want to have a decor. I'm going to leave. Not going to tell anybody you did anything, Curtis. It's alright. Okay, we're going to keep on going. Holy shit. Shit. Okay, I think it's been about four minutes. I'm doing okay. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Keep on going. We're gonna come back and interact with this tree who's trying to talk, trying to talk in just a moment. But we're gonna skip him for the moment because we gotta go back and talk to Curtis in a minute anyway. Looks like Mob Chatra has come on, here yet. move a bit faster, Vela. Gonna grab this driftwood. Grab it. Thank you. Uh, we're going to... Oh, what else do we gotta do? We're gonna go ahead and go to the mayor. Or the not mayor, rather. And we're gonna tell him he looks like the mayor. And then we're gonna talk to him about his hat and tell him that it's fancy. He doesn't look fancy, so... He's just gonna give us that bucket hat. And go up top. And we're gonna talk to these here druids. Or whatever they are. They call them some dead eye druids. Uh, can I get you guys something? Do you need more tear gas? Gives me their tear gas thing. Can I go inside? Because it looks cool. And then we're, they, they told me about a riddle. The answer to the riddle is this piece of fruit. Which lets me go inside. Put this piece of art right here. Which is actually a bit of a circuitry. Wake up, Alex. Ooh. We're going to touch both of these stones. Oh, shit. I forgot to get the sun. But I got to go back to talk to Tur Curtis anyway. So we missed a little bit of uh, stained glass in Curtis's house because I was in too much of a hurry. Ah, no. Not the menu. I want to go down fast. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to come over here to this bucket of chum. And put it in the gas dispenser. Come on, there we go. Skip it. We're gonna spray it on these poor ladies right here. They don't mind too much. They're gonna let me take their perfume because they think it's their perfume that made them get attacked by birds. And we're gonna go back this way. 
And we're going to use the axe on this tree so he can talk properly. Okay, now I see why the trees were oh, can't him speak. Out. Come on, use the use the axe. There we go. And then I'm gonna put the bucket on his branch. And we're going to move on back to Curtis. Uh, yeah, skipped that whole thing. We're gonna come up to his stained glass window up here and admire the sun, and then take it. <laughs> Oop, got the sun. Because it falls off. I'm gonna show Curtis this here piece of driftwood, and he's gonna make us a beautiful stool. Uh, yep, we got it. Okay. And then we're gonna come back out here. Oh, I hope I'm doing this fast enough. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move faster, Bella. Good job. Good hustle. Why you stop running when you get to the place where I, I need you to move the fastest? Okay, we're gonna show the tree the stool. He's gonna vomit. And we're gonna take his sap that he vomited into the bucket over to the mayor here. Uh, but first, oh uh, yeah, I, I ended up, um, cost me about probably 30 seconds, but hopefully that's not gonna matter too much. Um, especially since I can save some time on the harder puzzles later. Shut your fucking mouth. Uh, we're gonna put the sun in the top. Hey, what are you doing? And we're gonna put the laser thing in the bottom. Now I've got a death ray. Kitty's being problematic. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we've got a laser death ray button. I come over here, and we're gonna give the mayor this sap. So that his sand castles will stay in place. We're gonna use this perfume that smells awful on ourselves. And then we're gonna talk to the mayor, marshal, whatever, and tell him we need to be in the feast, and we're gonna immediately go to the feast segment. And that probably is about half an hour's worth of gameplay, I would say. Okay, now we need to keep moving so this thing doesn't grab us. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna shoot its legs off if we can. There we go. Keep on moving. There's two. There go. Oh, missed. Come on. Give me a shot. Alright, we got three. Now we need to let him catch us. Prep this ladder. Come on, catch me, you asshole. Yeah, you recognize me, don't you? Sure does. Alright, we're gonna use the ladder on his mouth. And then we're gonna shoot him in the mouth. Get that laser ready! Boom! He's gonna crash. Skip all that lovely stuff. Come on, come on, come on. And we're done with the okay. So I'm gonna pause for just a sec. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna skip all the way down my checklist because I didn't actually have to check it for most of that. Um, I need to make sure I go to the friendship circle, the outside, and the train last. We can skip doing one more than one day. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a manual save, because that went quite well. Managed to finish Vela in 11 minutes, which is not too shabby. I don't think, anyway. Wake up, come on, get up. Yep, well, I'll take it. Got the spoon, the spoon on the bowl. And we skip breakfast. Okay, computer. We're gonna go to Friendship Circle. Uh, because if we don't go to Friendship Circle and do this mission, which I didn't do on my last playthrough, you have to do it again in his downtime um, before you can get the crochet hook from him. Uh, then we need to go to the foreign body. So we're gonna go on a little spacewalk and get grabbing Gary, who has probably one of the most fun achievements in this game, which is finding out, I think, 20 unique uh, reasons why Gary doesn't want to grab that, uh, even though it's his sole purpose in life. And then we're going to go to the runaway train. We're going to completely ignore those poor victims stuck in an ice cream avalanche. I 
I need to open up. Oh no, I can't open that up yet. But that's alright. Wake up, bridge man. Wake up the bridge man. He sure did. But instead of going across, as soon as he lets go, we're gonna let go. We're gonna fall down a pit and meet a talking wolf man. It's gonna give us a screwdriver. Gotta love the, the adventure game logic sounds even more ridiculous if you're doing it quickly. Yeah, when there's no context whatsoever. It's like, oh, of course, that's what you did. Okay, so we got grabbing Gary. Of course, you fell down into a spiky pit of death, and a wolf gave you a screwdriver. No, 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 don't go yet. Uh, we need to use the air compressed air on the raft, but it's not actually a raft. It's an inflatable dummy of ourselves. Skip all of that lovely whatnot. And we're gonna go back down and talk to Merrick the Wolf. Come on, there we go. Uh, he's gonna, he wants us, what does he want us to do? Star chart. So we gotta go talk to the Space Weaver, who's also quite fun, and reminds me a little bit of uh, hey, the Boiler Man from uh, Spirited Away. Don't have to wait for him to actually get there. I can't remember. Kiyashi? I don't remember the Boiler Man's actual name. Time to save some helpless creatures. All right, I have Do to actually talk to Mary. Until I tell you that it's time. Skip it. All right, and then this is the claw game, basically, and also home to the, probably the most infuriating trophy in the entire game, uh, which thankfully you can jip by manual saving. Um, you have to rescue all the creatures without ever missing. Um, which in the early rounds is not difficult, but the I think the last two rounds of this next rescue I'm gonna do, and then the entire third rescue, the creatures and the arm start moving progressively faster, and missing. Well, it's because Bella. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so like, oh shit! What? Fuck! Like right down. It's okay. Uh, it's just. It just gets ridiculous, and the, the number of times I got to literally the last creature, and then f failed and had to redo two days worth of rescues was just absolutely infuriating. I think I eventually, like towards the end of my attempts, I figured out there is a way to manual save on this screen, so I just got to the third rescue and saved there, so I didn't have to redo as much, but it's just still, it's maddening. Alright, now we're gonna go over here. Doesn't matter which one. Don't wait forever though. Yeah. Of course watch me get them all flawlessly. On this one. This is a waste of After I've already spent an hour doing it in the past. I I don't know, maybe it might have even been like an hour and a half of just frustration. Okay. So that maiden or yeah, it's a maiden. It's not actually a creature. Uh, these stories are interconnected. Um, uh, okay, so what do we got now? Uh, ships, right, she thinks the ship's under attack. Um, right, I need to go down and talk to Merrick. Um, yeah, so you're kidnapping people, and the one that keeps fucking the system up is Vela escaping multiple times. Uh, okay, so I need to talk about the boom arm, and the shields, and Prima Doom. Uh, and that's all we need to know from Merrick. And we're gonna go this way, because it's faster. Da -da -da -da. And we're gonna grab this here space suit. Hey, the helmet comes off. And we're gonna go through here, which is gonna fuck with our head and make it tiny. Okay. Well, smaller, anyway. We're gonna go through here. I don't want to talk to mom, because that is a long conversation. Uh, I need to come into the avalanche room, which we didn't even go in, and grab this whipped cream gun. It's a whipped cream gun. Sure is, Shay. And keep it moving, keep it moving. Go into the friendship circle and get this crochet hook out of this poor little Yarn buddy. 26 minutes of recording, but I had a bunch of chaff at the end, so hey, we should be doing alright. Uh, hey. Yeah. Well, Got the crochet hook. 
And then we're gonna go in here. We don't know, need to go to the train. But we do need to go outside. Oh no, I don't have the knife yet. Shit. No reason to go there yet. I think I have taken a uh, non perfect route, but it sh should be okay. What's wrong, cat? Quit your yowling. Okay. Teleporters are super useful. We're getting around quick. Stop it! Now our head's gonna be super tiny. When we get through here, and that's okay. Although it is a little disturbing. Okay. Uh, we need to put a helmet on ourselves. Now we can come through here and put this inhibitor that you didn't even see me get on this orb, which will shut the shields off when we want them shut off. What is up, cat? Okay, unfortunately, you can't skip this. Oh, yeah, we can skip that tr transition. Awesome. Keep it going. Keep it going. Blah, 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 blah. Heads back to normal size. That's good. Uh, fastest way to the dining room is just going to unfortunately be going through this whole big ass. No, I don't want to go up there. This big ass room. Come on. Okay. Gonna grab the knife. And then we're gonna go back. I think taking the teleporter to the starboard corridor is actually faster than walking through the hallway, so we'll go ahead and do that. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, 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 come on. Doing good. Out here, we're gonna go on a unsanctioned spacewalk. Okay, we're gonna put the compressed air on our helmet, the whipped cream gun on our back, cut the lifeline, and now we can fly in space. Or fake I'm space, as it turns out to be. In space. You sure are, Shay. Okay. Don't hit. Ah, damn it. Come on. Come on, whipped cream gun. There we go. It's a sentence I didn't think I'd ever really utter. Come on, whipped cream gun. <laughs> Don't bounce. Oh, come on. Can I just... Stop bouncing. You need to go up. The arrow was saying that it would let me go. Ugh. That was dumb. Okay. Use that on that. Use Gary on that. And we're done here. All right. So we have inhibited the shields. And we've got, re we've got Gary, Goodbye, Gary in control of our boom arm. You uh, if you are, for any reason, going for the uh, uh, Gary Has His Reasons trophy, you have to do it before you put him in that slot, because you will not get him back for the rest of the game, and thus cannot learn any more reasons why Gary doesn't want to grab that. Uh, the not, the spoon achievement for for like specific spoon interactions is a little, more, a little bit more forgiving. I think there's actually more in the game than you need. Um... Oh, I should have I should have taken the teleporter, but it's all right. It's not that much longer. I really like the uh, Gary doesn't like touching personal items. Yeah, objects of a personal nature. Uh, okay, so we're gonna hop down here to this guy, and we're gonna tell him that we would like to go here, but he's gonna say no. Fine. And we're gonna tell him there instead. We're gonna drop down here and use our crochet hook. On this lovely tapestry, and I think we just go boom, boom, boom. Uh, I'm gonna actually let him count out. It's only a few seconds. I want to make sure that I actually put in the right thing before I make the screen transition. Awesome. You're at the right spot. Quickly, young cop, okay, over and then we talk to Merrick again. We're all set. And we're gonna do our last rescue, which is going you to take us straight into Act Two. To the so yeah, as you can see, the claws already moving faster, and the creatures are now steadily kind of moving themselves as well. And these first two are not so bad. Vela is insane. Okay. Well, we knew 
that, there though. She's no actually fighting you. Yeah, like, she, I mean, it makes sense when you compare the two stories, because at this point, she's actively, like, running around on the beach. Oh, of course. I told you. It's gonna do it perfect. All right, and we're gonna skip this entire cutscene. Why aren't you glad it means it took less time? Absolutely, it did. Skip and cutscenes. The ship that we're in that isn't actually in space is gonna crash. Okay, it doesn't. It's don't think I can actually. Okay, I can't skip this transition. I think this is the only non-skippable cutscene. I believe it doesn't count against your overall time though, because it was a loading. There's a loading icon. I don't know, to be honest. It doesn't matter, because I can't do anything here anyway. Okay, so we're definitely going to pause in just a second when we come out of this. We're going to make a manual save. Actually, I'll probably make a separate manual save than my other one, just in case that took too long and I need to... It's amazing how short an hour is when you're... When you're going, going quickly? It. Yeah, it's it's a little nuts. Um, no, I... No, that, I mean, that's Act 1. If I have to redo in anything in Act 1, I'll basically have to redo the whole thing. Uh, so I'll probably save over my other manual save. It's all right. I think where my phone go? Oh, there you are, phone. You've got my checklist. All right. And they have now swapped places. Shay is now on the planet's surface, and Vela is going to get stuck inside the ship that we were stuck in before. Oh my God! They closed. No. Jesus. So I went so quickly, I don't even know, I don't think you guys even got to see the mom and dad orbs, um, who are actually real people, um, which is a, is a pretty big, like, what the crap moment. Okay, we're gonna go with Shay. Oh, it's very big spoilers. Like, like, if you're, like, uh, about yeah, ab Shay, absolutely. Like, don't watch this if you haven't seen the story yet, because it spoils, like, important shit. Uh, how did you shrink your head? Okay. So we're gonna pause, and we're gonna hit manual save, and we're gonna go ahead and save over this. 22 minutes, not bad, I don't think. Hopefully. Um, okay, so, and I suppose, I think the counter is counting it, the loading time and, uh, and pause time. So I should still be all right. Uh, okay, so that's done. Uh, that's not done yet. Uh, okay, so I need to pull up my little checklisty, because Shay's Act 2 is a little bit complicated. Uh, okay, so we're going to go straight to Alex. Need to make sure we get the Hexapel. Uh, do, 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 do. Learn all the stuff that he needs by skipping through the dialogues. Get the schematic. All the way to the left. To Curtis's house, get the snake, which unfortunately, if you're not using the horn, you have to repeat. Yeah, can't skip the snake segment. Move towards Curtis. Okay, so I'll I'll read up next while I'm getting attacked by a snake. Okay. I guess I always knew my parents were people. Come on, keep going. We weren't actually in space. Where were we? Okay, uh, Hexapal. Hey. Alright, we've got our Hexapal. We're gonna go up top. To Alex's overheated ship. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So, why are uh, we're gonna go through all of this stuff. So that we definitely so have all so of the okay. stuff. Okay, now we're gonna go back down again. So strange. But I feel like I've do do oh, do, do quickly quickly. Really uh, we're gonna go talk to hey, Curtis. Go? Skip Carol for the time being. Cause she's now Carol, not Curl. Skip the tree. Come on, keep going. Any talking trees over here? Walk no? to Good. the side that we didn't go to with Vela. And we're going smell. to pit our endurance against this snake's strength. And unfortunately, we just have to sit here and wait for the snake to get tired. So what are we going to do after that? Uh, all the way left. Uh, go back. 
Move towards Curtis's house. So get the flyer. Get, get the oh, snake on the marshal. Use the schematic. Place the thing on the barf spot. Use the well, flyer. Fun, uh, I, I screen transition to it. Get him to reveal the sculpture. Give him the mold. Uh, then we're gonna go up to McGee. Okay. So I think I've. I think I basically know what we're doing from this point forward. I might. Ha I'll definitely have to pause and save before the knot puzzle and before the hyper or the the hexacube puzzle. Come on, snake guy. Ah, oh, this section's so long. We're doing okay, though. Vela's section for Act 2 doesn't actually take that long, as long as I get the escape to go nice. And the finale is super short, once you know what you're doing. Okay, so we want to get the Vela flyer out of the mailbox. Come on, keep it going. Keeping it going. All right. Uh, we're going. Oh no, gotta go talk to the dude first. Back to. Put the snake on the mayor. Yep. Get the sand thing from the mayor. Put the sand thing in the thing for the flyer. Yep. Not made of yarn. Go up to the mayor. Greetings. Cancel that conversation. Snake on mayor. Schematic on mayor. Sand. It's awesome. Alright. Back this way. Sand model on rocky patch. Flyer on tree. Now got a sap slash resin covered mold. Skipped Curtis. Sorry, who is now a metal worker. Uh, on my spaceship. What you making there? Bop, 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 bop. The dialogue in this section is amazing. Uh, it, again, Curtis is probably my favorite part of the entire game. Okay, I've got that now, so now we're gonna go up top. Got a nice metal version of the thing we made a mold for. Go figure. Okay, so we skip that part. Mind if I try it? Uh, hey, for third, tell me about that knot. Can you untie it? Uh, should we make a so harness can... for him? You sound bad. Better give him a knot first. If you uh... if you just go straight for it, it'll change the knot. Hmm. Oh bad. shit! I forgot. I forgot to actually look at what the knot looks like. For there, could, could you, you describe, describe the knot for me? me? Uh, I don't oh. Think so. That one looks kind of like a heart, I think. Or an apple. Yeah, something along those lines. So we'll see what our options are when we get back to Carol later. Uh... You stay here. Okay. So we're going to go this way. And then we're going to go this way. What do I need to do? I need to go talk to Maggie. I was just Maggie. care of my family. Quickly, hey. quickly. Hey, hey, you want to buy a cupcake? I want to talk to you guys at least. I want a cupcake, I support your cause. Let's go talk to this guy. Okay, well. Talk to this guy. Uh, want some money. Okay. Thanks for that. Do, 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 do. Uh, money on them. Got a nice cupcake. And back over this way. Now I want to go up to these guys and offer them a cupcake. So I'll get a cupcake that has no icing on it. Because the guy on the right licks it off and gives me the cupcake back like a weirdo. Looks like someone tied this lap. No, I don't care. Just no, 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 no. Just want you to go up here. Ignore the bird. I'm gonna go past him. I'm gonna go talk to Gus, who is the large guy from earlier. 
Oh shit, I did this in the wrong order. Fuck it, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn around. I should have went and got the cane first. That's what I get for not checking my own checklist. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Yeah, I, if I fail, then maybe. Uh, come on, keep moving, Shay, keep moving. You're the faster of the two. Get down there. Show him the cupcake. I got his cane. No, he gives it to you. It's simultaneously his cane and his icing bag. Which is just weird. Yeah, it's a bit strange, but you know, the game is strange. But in a good way. Okay. So now we want to go up here. Sweet, I can skip the whole bird section. I want to... I wonder if I can just immediately fight these guys or if I have to talk to them. No, 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 Shay. God damn it. Fight you. No, okay, I gotta talk them. Uh, boop. And I'll fight you for them. And I'm gonna get a stick. And I've got a stick. And I failed, but they left anyway. They actually literally fell out of their clothes. Oh, wow, their clothing was way closer. Because I skipped the scene. Okay, we're gonna slide down. I'm gonna come talk to Gus about fruit. I'm gonna grab one fruit. Mind if I take one? And I'm gonna talk to him about food? his little tapper thing. Uh, could I borrow it? He just gives it to me. People are very accommodating. Yeah, people are pretty nice. Skip the climbing scene, and back we go. Oh, goodness. What are you at? 43 minutes of the recording, so I think I'm still doing okay. Tapper on the bird. Skip the scene, grab the eggshells. And back we go. Alrighty. Very quickly, out of Curtis's place. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm actually going to pause real fast and see what I need, what exactly I need to do now. Uh, got all of that shit. I got to go back up there to the harmony section anyway so I can go make the suit at that time. So I've got the blueprint and the resources now. So we need to go talk to Carol. Then we need to get the pencil. Uh, then we need to get the not information. Then we need to put the eggshells into the thing. And yeah. Okay. I think I could probably do the whole patch stuff now which will actually end up taking me up into the room. Okay, so let's talk to Carol about knots. Hi, I'm Shay. Uh, you seem good with me. Let's see. Alligator wrestling a pretzel, bucket of fingers, lazy pole vaulter, a little bit like you, strangely enough. I thought it kind of looked like a heart. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so, bear with me, guys. I'll probably trim this out. But maybe not. Uh, let's see. Not. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Did you pause? Yeah, I paused the game. Not puzzle. Broken age. This particular puzzle is just... It's not, like, incredibly hard. It's just the type of knot you get is always random. The type of steps that you have to take to untie the knot is also random. 
And if you attempt to untie the knot without the proper steps, you'll get a completely different knot and you have to start the whole thing over again. And it's an incredible time sink if you're trying to do stuff quickly. Oh, come on. Why aren't you loading? Where's your map? Broken age knot puzzle. 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 Broken age that is a alligator wrestling a pretzel, apparently. I can kind of see it now. That is weird, but all right. Like an alligator wrestling a pretzel. Mm. Well, let me just draw you. Okay, she doesn't have anything to draw with, so we got to get a pencil oh, for her. Smell? Need to talk to Dad. Dad? Uh, what's cooking? What's How's the whole patch coming? Uh, how would you change the pH? Okay. Then we're going to use our spoon. And we can't skip this dialogue, unfortunately, because I need to actually know what the pH is. Because this one is also slightly random, depending on your playthrough. Not to question the mission, sir, but was there some reason you stuck me into that toxic potion? pH? The mixture has a pH, pH balance, balance of 12. 12, exactly. okay. So we need to make it more acidic. Hang on there, son. We add that, and unfortunately we have to keep testing, because the last time I did this without testing, it kept resetting itself. The mixture has a pH balance Should be 10 now. Exactly. That's bad. Add some more fruit juice. pH of eight, eight now. Eight. Exactly. Sweet. It has to be seven. Add more fruit juice. Now we should be at six. How's the pH balance of The mixture has a pH balance of six. Sweet. Exactly. Where our magic number is seven. seven. Exactly. So we're gonna have the eggshells. What are they? I don't know if it actually added or not, so I'll check. Report. The mixture has a pH balance of nine. nine. Exactly. Awesome. That's the wrong direction. And then one more fruit juice. And we have a balance of seven. Which is going it explodes in a way. And then we should be back in Alex's. We hey. sure are. Um, so I can ask him to play me a song. I don't actually care about the song because I have the data that the song gives me already. Uh, why? Uh, I need his pencil. Uh, I can borrow your space pencil. Okay. Sweet. And out we go. I could have given him the uh, piece that I made from Curtis's house right there, but if you keep it, um, another character will actually just bring it back for you and auto install it so you can skip the whole, like, the entire conversation. Okay, so let's give her the pencil, and she's gonna give me the clues. I don't want to hit the skip button because I want to... S oh, no, I can look at the diagram. I forgot. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's wrestle the snakes. Um, or pull apart the fighting snakes or something like that. Pluck the petal, I think. Snakes. You're right. Uh, loves me. And then that last one I haven't seen before that looks kind of like a baby. Um, I think it might be Spank the Baby. Uh, let's see here. Play Patty Cake. Make Baby Play Patty Cake. Okay. Patty. All right. Okay, so we're going to go back up. Skip the tree for the moment. Back up the into Mariloft. We've got that now. We're gonna make our radiation suit while we're up there. Because once I do the thing with Hermney and Fether, uh, I think I'll it'll automatically take me back down again. Let's see, what do I uh, haven't done the hexapal yet? That's gonna be the last thing we do. 
Uh, see if I can just give it to her. Nah. I think baby clothes okay. out of context or see, Shay at least runs to this segment. Uh, let's see. Uh, everything okay. Uh, maybe something came up. Swinging. Wow. Cool costume. Could you make me one? Here's the pattern. So just get me the material. And here's the material. And uh, we've got our nice little radiation suit now. And I don't think there's anything else up here that we need. Oh god, we're pushing this close. But we should we should still be able to do it. I really hope I don't have to do this again. Uh, okay, so let's go back down here. Um to pull this down. Talk to Sir. Uh, let's give the nod a try. Uh, I want you to pull apart the fighting snakes. Then I want you to she loves me, she loves me not, and make the baby play patty cake. Cloud falls apart, a fish falls down to the forest below, and we auto deliver the thing that he had. And I can give him this. I guess you gotta give it to him regardless. And I can give him that. And now we need one more thing. We need some wire from Carol. And we're gonna get that wire by getting a Big Mouth Billy Bass ripoff that fell out of Harmony's cloud and landed in the talking tree. And doing using the fish, we're gonna convince her that our crochet hook is a really good fishing hook. Um, so we're gonna talk to the tree. I heard you talk. Uh, all she blah 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 blah. I understand. Uh, blah blah blah. Just there we go. There's a fish. Um, I guess I have to. Want to hear a joke? There we go. Want to hear a joke? Uh, did you see what? Old peak pine trees. How many lumberjacks does it take to change a light bulb? Did you hear the local coffee shop? Why did the president of the chipmunks get impeached? Okay, I have not heard any of these jokes before, so I'm gonna have to look this one up too. The last three times I've played through this, uh, yeah, it's it's always been the same joke in my options, and I got I I got it right the first time, so I just keep going with that one. Uh, tree joke. There we go. Thank you, Google. Okay, um, what do you know, so do you know old Pete the pine tree? Uh, well I heard he got in some really big trouble, it seems he was being really naughty. Okay, so old Pete the pine tree it is. Say. Uh, Heard he got into some really big wow. trouble. It seems he was being really naughty. He was being... <laughs> He's gonna laugh, shake down the fish. We're gonna take that fish. Back to Carol. And good God, I hope we're doing this fast enough. Uh, fish on Carol. And then talk to Carol again. Hey, Carol. Wait, oh uh, shit, I scared. Damn it. Wanna see fish on Carol. Fish again? I'd rather see the secret weapon you use to catch it. Yeah. Okay, and now I okay. use the hook you on wanted... her. Promise to leave some fish. She gives me the wire. Uh, okay, and now we are going uh, we might as well go ahead and walk up into the room. Into Alex's place. Here, and we're gonna make ourselves a manual save. 22 save. Okay, 37 minutes of playtime. We are actually doing really well. I think you can finish the finale in five minutes if you really, really hustle. So, as long as Vela's side of this doesn't take too long, we should be golden. Uh, I might have to like reload a manual save in the last chapter just to make sure I can streamline everything, but we're doing pretty well. Uh, okay, so we got our manual save. 
What we're gonna do now is we need to wire up our little buddy here, and I'm gonna take some time I'm here because like whoa, the ship. poor guy. What the hell is that? So that's a bug of some sort. Let me try that again. These guys did everything. What the fuck? Welding, washing, There's giant like graphical bugs in the middle of the fucking dude, but only when I pull up the hexapal. Uh, here. Whoa! Apparently it's just when I'm... That is some kind of glitch. Alright then. Uh... Use the wires on him. Okay, now it's... That was fucking weird, okay. Um, so we're gonna put our first two wires here. Our second two wires here. And our last two wires right here. And what this is gonna do is tell us what each of those nodes means because we go in order of blue yellow red when you put the wires in and it's going to tell us the symbols that our nodes are for this particular playthrough because these symbols are always the same symbols but where they are on the hex pads back is always random so i'm going to write down this little order here so left right arrow is the top node and then kind of a triangle split in half I don't know what you'd call that shape, but whatever. It's the top right. Solid filled in triangle is the bottom right. Up down arrow is the d direct bottom. Uh, and then we've got what I like to call the rocket ship on the bottom left. And the hollow triangle slash not complete triangle on the top left. All right, so we've got that now. And what we're gonna do next is take him off and we have to briefly switch over to Vela. Oh shit, actually, oh, this is interesting. All right, let me pause real fast. Cause I have to get the I have to get the correct way to wire him via Vela's story. Yeah, you gotta get all the way through her and then pop back to him to do this. Yeah, I think you're right. This is as far as you can go with Shay. With Shay. Okay, so we got all that lovely stuff. Um, let's see. Return to the temple and give Alex the superconductive gyroscopic hypercam, feathery radiation to make a save. We can reload to get back the time you spend figuring out the following things. Use the wire in the broken hexapal, figure out which node is which, um, and write that down. Once you figured it out, reload to get back the time you spent. Now wire the hexapal to be alive. Use the hexapal on Alex. But I can't wire it to be alive right now because I don't have. I don't. I don't have the solution yet. I guess I wrote this down wrong. Okay, so yeah, we'll just swap back later. But we will go ahead and load back up um, that manual save. Because we've got our node information now. Uh, so, we're. I mean, it'll we'll hit save and exit, but it doesn't really matter. Because um, we're going to load up the manual slot anyway. Okay, so load this one. We're saving about two minutes. That's not insubstantial. And we'll go ahead and make that the auto saving slot and a little manual save over the other one. And we pop over to Vela. Okay. Okay, so Vela's act is not too fast. We're gonna move quickly. Talk um, to this knife a bunch. Take it with us and move over here. Attention, current altitude below recommended level. Uh, we're cut detected. this pipe. Attempting emergency takeoff. Hey, Skip it. Ship off axis. Go over here, grab General this helmet. Offline. Anti gravity. Starfield integrity restored. Initializing. And now we're gonna fuck with. I might be One of the first genuinely function. random puzzles. Function unavailable. Nope, Air good. Try that one. 
Unable to repressurize. No good. Unable no, 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 no. I have that stupid pipe. Uh, say so I did those two, and did I do these two? Air transport system incomplete. No. Unable to repressurize. Okay, let's try the other side. Uh, tube there and there. Close, not quite. How about there and there? Uh, almost. So, there and there. That's the one we want. Okay, so we're going to climb up this guy. And now that platform's there, we can slice this tube again. Because we have something to land on. Okay, and now we're going to come back over here. We already know Hopefully this definitely has to go on this side. This right this there. Goes. And now we just got to find the white run over here, which thankfully the game just tells you when you get it right. Air transport system. Sweet. First shot, not bad. Alright, so I need to use the helmet to get here this thing. Go. Yeah. Nice. Now let go of that helmet. Now we're going to use this to get this boot, if we get our lineup right, gotcha, gonna use the boot, and arm, Dang. oh, bad timing, bad timing. do it again, do it again, got it, alright, push Maybe. off, and we are in the ship proper now, so now we need to go I find Malik, I'm pretty oh. sure, Can't really do anything here yet. Man, this place is a mess. I'm not gonna need to come back through here in a little while. At least not for a little bit. So We're gonna push this. Move to the other side and push it back. Yeah. And go on through. Okay. Nothing else is open currently. Keep on going. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, down we go. What's this? Huh. Someone Let's go talk to Malik. Merrick. I don't know why I want to call him Malik. Boop, 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 boop. Wait. You gotta unlock the door. Uh how would why did you Or actually I think I just have to talk to him all the way through. Where's can I can you Hey, I've gotta go. Okay, now he's unlocked the door for us. We can go through here. Looks like some sort of an and into here. Looks like a music. Uh. And we teleport, and her head gets bigger slightly. Although it's a bit harder to no notice because her hair is so big. It took me a couple of times. And then we got it. Oh shit! I guess I do have to come back through here. Damn. Oh well. So move that. Can I move it back already? I can. Sweet. That will save me a little bit of time. Later. Okay. And then we need to go through this teleporter. Actually, it's gonna move that debris anyway. So I guess I just wasted a couple. I don't know, half a minute there, something like that. Teleport again, and now we have a even bigger head, which is actually finally kind of noticeable on Villa. Uh, and then we're gonna go back through here, and then we're gonna come down here and talk to Mom. Hello in there. All right, we're gonna pretend to be Shay. Uh, we're answering her questions Mr. now, Mr. Huggy. Don't want to do this. We not do this? That's, that's exactly what oh, you used apparently to say I can't skip this bit. You hated my nicknames. Come on, I mean, come on. Shay did. <coughs> Villa's head being bigger helps her disguise her voice for some reason. Yeah, but that would be her throat, not her head. But it's okay. Again, adventure game logic. 
I tried to keep things fresh by never... I know, I know, I know. I know you very, very caring with your shoe varieties. Size and pattern of his very first space boots. Very first space boots were purple. Purple. And the size? Size four. Size four. And pattern. And they were polka dot. Polka dot. And then Bella gets kind of shunted into the room. I'm just going to go through this real fast. And now we can grab this here fork. And we can make a manual save. And we'll save over this one since our manual save slot has now been changed. How do we do it? 43. Oh, good God. 43 minutes. This is going to be close. Oh, shit. Okay. If you don't succeed, you're going to scrap this episode? Uh, no, if I don't succeed, what I'm probably going to do is jump cut to the success at the end. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we got a manual c yes. save. Okay, I can pause during this. Okay, so functional hexabot thing is like so... So, uh, empty, up, down, left, right, spaceship, and then solid, and the two triangles. Okay, so that is how we make Shay's hexapel work. Uh... So let's go ahead and I know it's not going to make too much difference, but we we did manual save, so we might as well use it. Uh, yes. We will jump back that, I don't know, 10 seconds or whatever. Because uh, we have that information now. Yeah, go ahead, swap the slot, it's fine. And now we are going to switch to Shay, and Shay will be done. So all we have left is the little second bit of Vela's, which thankfully doesn't take too much time. Uh, need to... look like he survived God getting it. off the ship. Poor guy. Why is... Oh, right, because I hadn't combined like them yet. Okay. So Shay wire. needs to do that. Do... Needs to be s hollow to up goes. down, and then left right Put some wire to here. spaceship. Here and then solid to the duels right now, there. Out of wire. And then we Good charge our little hex buddy and we give him to Alex. Hey, well thanks, Shay. Uh, okay. Now Shay is done. They won't take off until Vela is done. Uh, so we're going to make another manual save because this next bit is a little bit tricky. It only took us a minute, so we're still... We're cutting it close, but we're, I think we're going to be okay. You've got 15 minutes. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so Vela needs to escape, make the bomb, convince the Space Weezer, Weaver... The Weezer? <laughs> space Weaver to take us where we need to go. Uh, space Weezer. It's like regular Weezer. But, but in space, space yes. Uh, what's they the. They still suck, though. That's the question. Weezer doesn't suck. You don't have to like them, but they don't suck. Um, Dope knows would disagree. That's one song, and you actually like some of their other songs. Um, what's the other thing Vela needs to do? I suppose I have a checklist. I might as well fucking use it. Stupid. Uh, okay. Um, Where's my phone? It's right here. You took it from me. Yeah, you can have it back. Uh, okay, so we're gonna escape with the hex gal. Uh, I know how to do all that stuff. Grab the fork. I already did. Uh, enter the kitchen and pick up a little lazy me. Head to the fate control room. Move the obstacle back in the way. Uh, go to the ice cream room. 
Refill little lazy me. Get some ice cream. Walk down the mountain rapidly. Take the yellow teleporter. Use to get the thing on the fusion orb. Go back to the hallway. Use the green teleporter. Okay, so I think... Touch the crooked wall panel. Talk to the people behind the door. Give them the cereal. Okay, so we want to do all of that stuff before I go down there. Okay. So, here we go. Hexagal. All right, first of all, since I'm already right here, we can transition here. Move that. Wow, those arms are strong. Hey, I can see the outside of our door. Ooh, Looks like we can control. Verify that he is in there. Hey, I can he see the sure other is. room. Okay. Cool. So we'll unlock everything as we pass by it. Boop. Hmm. And we're gonna keep going. Empty. Boop. Boop. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, but something tells me hopefully that won't ca somehow. hopefully that won't matter. Maybe she can jump over it. She's Nothing she's pretty. The, I, the debris is still in the way. Okay, so that's all unlocked. So boom. Oh. boom. I can't now. I'm locked in the room. So clearly the debris doesn't matter. We shouldn't have launched that one so soon, but it should be okay. She's not actually gonna go fix it. She's gonna walk through the door. There she She'll goes. definitely fix hers first. Okay. So that was a little dumb, but it's okay. She's through. Okay, so... We need to go... Boom. 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 And then we this way. hold off until she gets over there. Yeah, okay, she'll she'll go through. A little farther. There she goes. On that one. Just a little she'll bit more. She'll go through there. Beautiful. And then we go. Boom. Sparky. Okay, Boom. that should take a little while for her to finish. Take a shot. Boom. Boom. That wire in there. Okay, she's gonna flop up up there, and then when she flips down, we can trip this one. Look at her go, fixing problems just as quickly as. Well, what are you playing I with over me? there? Don't fix that too quickly now. Just a little Kitty, bit. Kitty, stop more. it! Would you please go get the plastic away from her before she cuts her mouth? Okay, we're through. <clears throat> that. She gets sucked out the window. Give my cursor back. Thank you. Go in here. Oh, hey. There you are. Hey, cheer up. Taco Tuesday. Boom. this do? Okay, here's a hand. Grab it. Boom. Yes. Good job. Walk her out. Well, that's better. Go ahead and get this prepped Keep for moving. me. Is that a box of cereal? Sure it is. Do it again. Cereal, please. But pause it. And there we go. Okay. Have her fix this. this I hope that hole is blocked and up enough now. fix that. And we'll be good. Don't fix that too quickly now. Hey, look, an electrical problem to fix. That's right. Better get on that. That's my girl. Okay. And we are free. Check it out, Hope. Skipping. Skipping. So much plot to skip. Okay, and then out we go. Wait, should I have written that? Come in here and grab little lazy me. There you are. 
and everything so else should already too. be in place uh, but I don't have the ice cream bowl yet so I guess I'll just keep going okay uh, teleport Hi. shit damn it fucked it up uh, you know what no, that's okay. Hey. We'll try. I went the wrong to the wrong side. Alright. Oh, come on. Through here. Need to go in here first. Ice cream. Did not see that coming. Use little lazy me on the gun. Put on cloud shoes. Oh, you guys look like you got it. My friends in see me now. There's a bowl on the ice cream. Why, yes. Get the hell down. Through the door. Okay, so we've got the ice cream now. Uh, let's go back. Meow. So whiny. Go down here. Hey there. Please count fingers and toes before leaving teleporter. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Grab the orb with the ice cream bowl. What? Wait, what? Why didn't you grab it? There we go. That was weird. Get the hell out of oh, here. I wonder what that funny light show is for. How it's so nice to okay, so I've got that now. So I need to go back and trigger the vacuum bot. I already saw that the debris is indeed in the way still. So close. Hey, it's that little gal riding the vacuum cleaner. There we go. We want to take the teleporter though. Hi. It's so. Ooh, you stop her. Warning. Objects. Hey, hold it. Thank you. No, 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 no. Good cereal, but maybe somebody still. Flush the bomb. Okay, so pause for a sec. Jesus. Okay, uh, we're right here, so we can take the train. Give the young hero to them. But he didn't. Yeah, do the wave. Holy shit, monkeys! <laughs> so tense. We've got a pile of yarn now, which we are going to use on the fork. Uh, we're going to go back this way. So much munchies, I'm kind of hungry too. Okay, uh, we're gonna go down to the yarn man. Stab him with this. Uh, I don't have the star char yet, so I just kind of wasted time, but it's all right. We'll deal. Oh, shit. No, I'm going the wrong way. I can't go through Mal Merrick's place yet. I need to take the red teleporter. God damn, I fucked that up. Hopefully that doesn't cost me this, but we made a save at the beginning of this section, so I can do it faster if I have to. Go through the secret. Hit this thing. Uh, boom. Oh, you want some cereal? Here's some cereal. Take their hook. Give them the cereal. Hit the wires. 
Okay, now I need to go down to Merrick's room. Get the star chart. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hey, Hexa Girl. Down the hall. Across the way. Looks like some sort of video game. Lock the door. There, it's locked. Grab the star chart. And leave. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> so fucking tense. Okay. Keep moving, Bella. We're so close. Down to him. Give him the star chart. Come down here. Use the hook. Bella's needs to look like... Don't think anyone would mind. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why, but I feel really, really good about that pattern. Sometimes you just have to go with your own. Right, because Merrick is doing the thing, so we should go back to the control room. And I think that will trip us into the finale. You're just in time. Awesome. Skipping all this stuff. Blah 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 blah. Come on, keep it going. They're gonna take off, and we're gonna take off, and we're gonna crash in front of the plague dam. And we're gonna pause. Okay, Jesus Christ. We're getting close. This is the finale right here, and it does not take long as long as you do it right. Okay, so we're gonna start as Vela, grab the hexagal. Uh, look at our burn marks that I don't need to look at the burn marks because I know how that works uh, It doesn't change does it? Well, the burn marks will change but I will the burn marks are the information that you need to solve that bit of the puzzle So I don't need to look at it ahead of time um, Okay, let's see here uh, Had the fake control room use the death ray and then switch to Shay uh, get the broken radio, go grab the hexapel, um, change him to the harp, return down the ladder and head to the left into the room, grab that, grab the hammer, uh, let's see, head, move to transition to the left with the lever, uh, as Vela head to Shay's room, go to the vent, grab the wire, wire her up as the harp. Uh, give him to the space weaver. Use the hexagon on the tapestry. Climb the ladder and exit to the fake control room. Swap back to Shay, give the hex pal the mallet. Change it to the safety hazard swinging one. Hexapel on drum, go up to the uh, use the remote, use the death ray, skip the cutscenes. Okay, so this is going to be close. Um, what we're going to do, we definitely have to start as Bella, though. So let's jump into Bella's ship, and let's make ourselves another manual save. And see how we're doing. 53 minutes, okay. This is going to be close, but I think this is achievable. Especially if I get the information I need for the hexapals, just so I can, and I can, I can even reload if I have to. Okay, <coughs> here we go. go around it then. We're Let's under get out of here. Grab the hexagal. Oh no. Go over here. 
death ray. Let's hope that. Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Loading doesn't count, thank God. How this thing gets set? Cutscenes do though. Switch to Shay. Come on, let me switch to Shay. Okay, Shay is going to go down the door. Harp code. Okay, pausing doesn't count. So we have got solid to empty, empty to up down, solid to up down. Solid to up, down. Not too hard. Loop. Wrote that down wrong. Up down. Okay. All right, so that's our harp code. Looks like part of the didn't take any extra time. <laughs> Grab this radio. Jump through here. Up the ladder. Ray. Uh, okay, so I got the harp. Uh, so let's wire him up Hello? as a heart. Hello? Anyone there? Nope. Anybody there? So we got solid, Hello? which is here. There. Solid That's to one. empty. Now those two are connected. And then s empty let's to up down. Other and then here. solid to up down. Put this here. And that's, all the wire. that's all we needed to do. Jump down here. Jump over here. Show him to these guys. Go across into this room. Play the harp. Oh, hey, he's actually pretty good. Back whoa, out whoa, whoa. over here. Back here. Flip this switch. There. Now the power's back, back on. Back here. Grab this switch, which is actually a mallet. Jump over here. Back to this room. Grab the hexapal. Yeah, that's enough. Switch to Vela. Back to here. Back to Merrick's room to get some wire. Bum. Ba 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 da ba 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 ba. Come on. So so close. Grab the wire. Uh, I don't know. I need to end the way you do things. get where we need to go before I bother wiring up anything. Probably should have made a manual save at the finale, but it's okay. Oh no, I did. I totally did. Down to the yarn guy. Use the wire on the hexagal. Okay. She needs to be wired up the same way as the harp, but oh, God damn it! Come on, can I pause it? I sweet, I can. All right, so the hammering motion is bottom to top or bottom to top right. Oh no, that's yellow. Which one's red? That top one's red. So then top to there. Is red and bottom left to bottom right is blue. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. <clears throat> but she needs to be wired the same way that the harp is, so that's going to be. Um, how is that? It's kind of a triangle, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, your little wires got knocked out. Wow, well, that's hard to say. Shit's chilled. So we need solid. 
to empty. Empty to up down. Solid to up down. Down. Well, that's evocative. Hexcal on the thread. Up we go. Back to the control room. Wait right here. Switch back to Shay. Rewire our hex pal as yeah, boom to boom, that boom there. to boom, and boom to now boom. I'm out of wire. And then we give him the mallet, and then we use him on this drum. And then we go upstairs. And we use Grab and Gary's control. Gary? Come on, so close. So very close. Good work, Gary. And then we switch it's over to Vela. And we use the death ray. And now we skip a lot of cutscenes. I am legit skipping the entire end of the game here because I can, and it's somewhat necessary. Okay, there's the credit, and we got it. Fuck yes, one try. All right, so that was that. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, again, I have no idea how entertaining this is gonna be whatsoever, uh, but I kinda figured I'd do it, just cause I wanted, I was going to anyway, might as well record it. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's a kind of impromptu guide for let's get this good time over with. Uh, I think I kind of cut it really close there. I, I probably had a few minutes to spare. Um, but as you saw, I did fuck up a couple of times. I took f like longer routes than I really should have. Um, I messed around with that stupid debris thing like two or three times. And actually, if the debris is out of the way for the hexagal when you're trying to escape, um, she can get through the hallway faster. Um, you know, I went the wrong way a couple of times, but clearly it was still quite doable. Um, the big thing is you just, you have to skip everything that is skippable in order to be sure you get there on time. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I guess I want to reiterate, reiterate one more time. Like if this looked at all interesting to you, like even if you only watched the first couple minutes and you're like, that's a pretty game, like please give it a look like it it got a decent amount of uh oh i never caught that before the mayor knocked down the wall that's kind of cool um obviously these are characters that you didn't really get to meet very well um but all of them are really interesting and kind of funny um and again i i cannot sing the praises of curtis high enough um when i when i realized it was uh will wheaton it just kind of added even more love to that character he's the the diatribe he has about metal is amazing uh is one of the funniest things i've seen in a game in a long time um but yeah uh if if the game looked at all interesting if you just like adventure games it's a really solid adventure game there's only i think i don't know maybe two or three puzzles that were kind of obtuse and a little bit like got me stuck in my tracks a little um mostly the wiring diagrams and like i said uh it, that's partially because i made it way harder than it needed to be when i first did it um because i didn't understand like the hint that i was being given and like i said all you got to do is is plug in like the first wires on that top and top right and then bottom right bottom and then bottom left top left and plug him into the thing and just take a moment and write down what all those symbols are in that order and it makes all the rest of the wiring puzzles totally doable um even in you know a time crunch uh, but yeah the game is it's funny it's clever it's got i don't know the the first time through it i was genuinely enthralled um the the kind of like parallel gaming experience where you're basically playing two different adventure games that act upon one another um i think my only real criticism of the entire experience is that there's a couple of moments where you the player 
have to take information that you learn as one character and use it for another. For example, the, that first wiring diagram is a brilliant example. It's like, you can figure out the nodes as Shay, no problem. But Shay had no opportunity in anywhere in Act 1 to learn what the proper wiring diagram was for, like, the active hexapals. Uh, and you could argue that maybe he knew it as a child, uh, he does remark that he feels really good about the wiring diagram once you put it in correctly. Um, but, you know, it's it's still, it was basically impossible for you to learn as Shay what to do. Uh, which is why you have to pop over as Vela and look at that picture, which gives you the wiring diagram. Um, Vela has a similar thing where Shay will get Alex to play some notes on a little pitch pipe that you get that you may not have even seen me get because I was moving through that section so quickly. Um, and it translates to coordinates um, that you can put in on the nav scarf. But once again, it's impossible for Bella, that Bella, Jesus, for Bella to have gotten that information on her own. Like you could argue that Shay had that wiring information in his head, but there's literally no way Bella could have gotten that info without it just being you the player plugging in what you learned on the other side and that broke it a little bit for me um but the story is so good and the characters are so fun and engaging and interesting that it really doesn't even matter and again i don't think i've ever played a single adventure game that didn't have something in that vein where it's just like well that was bullshit and at the very least this one did it very very little so it, overall it's a brilliant experience it's not very expensive uh and like i said at the beginning i'm pretty sure it's available on all platforms except for maybe the wii i don't know if the wii ever got it but it's definitely on ps4 because that's what i'm playing it on right now it's definitely on steam uh and i think it's also on the xbox i don't see why it wouldn't be um scrolling through the kickstarter backers right here there are an incredible incredible amount of them because when double fine says they want to do a thing people listen um that being said i really hope all this kind of like less than savory stuff we've been hearing about double fine lately with the whole psychonauts 2 like shell company investor thing i really hope that doesn't end up being as shady as it sounds um you know i i would completely understand if it was like an experiment they were trying uh, and, and, and I hope it works out well, but it, it definitely sounds like a little bit on the, on the shady side of, uh, of not cool. So, you know, I guess we'll see. But anyway, um, I don't think I'm going to make you guys sit here and watch the entirety of this. Cause like I said, there are a lot of Kickstarter backwards and I'm fast forwarding through them right now and we're only in the S's. So in any case. Um, thanks for coming guys. I hope you enjoyed it in some way and I hope you give the game a chance in its, you know, in earnest. Oh, hey, we got through. Um, so yeah, I've been Crowbar. That's been a platinum pop. I don't know if I'm going to do this again in the future. Um, I just seemed like a good opportunity to before I moved past this game. Um, I've got some normal content coming for you guys soon. We got uh, Transistor coming up and firewatch and i'm actually kind of hoping that i might have some time to delve back into shadow of the colossus and dark souls and get those guys finished off too um so thanks for coming if you liked what you saw hit that like button subscribe for me so you don't miss anything i do in the future uh and share it around it helps me a ton uh and it's actually already helped me i've already noticed a few uh traffic spikes thanks to uh some diligent people uh, drop in links places and I know a buddy of mine drops them on reddit fairly regularly um, So yeah, thanks a lot guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye